it seems like there's not as much of a home court advantage this year. So five students that are in the Center for Sports Analytics here at Sanford uh, collected data on the last four years of college basketball games. These are NCAA Division I basketball games, every single game played at home over the last four years, which is close to 20,000 games that we looked at. And then we started doing some comparisons to see what, what changed as a result of having no crowds to low crowds this year. The visiting team fouls declined. And so if you look at the, the average number of fouls uh, that, a, that a visiting team commits in a game, that number declined uh, quite significantly during this past season. So there was no change in the number of fouls for the home team, yet there was a significant decline in the number of fouls for the visiting team, which makes us believe that, the, the, again, the crowd you know, has some impact on, on the, sort of that, that referee decision making from time to time. And that's, uh, I think, what we, that, since the crowd wasn't there this year, you didn't see that impact. If you look at uh, things like uh, offensive rebounds, number of points scored, shooting percentage, uh, free throw attempts, uh, number of turnovers, all of these different uh, statistical measures that typically uh, are going to uh, be correlated with success, wins and losses, uh, all of those declined for the home team uh, this past year. And again, this is across all home games played across the entire country, over 3,000 games total. And so we saw all of those numbers come down significantly this past year. The visiting team, for the most part, performed at about the same level that they have year after year, whereas the home team uh, had a significant decline in performance. The percentage of games won at home dropped by about five percentage points compared to what it normally is. Uh, in a typical pre-COVID year, the, uh, the home team wins about 68 to 69% of the time in college basketball. This past year, that dropped down to 64 to 65%.